How do you exercise with no energy? This is JJ Virgin, four time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. Dina Marie from Facebook asks, how do you exercise with no energy? Between hemochromatosis and Hashimoto's, I'm too tired, but I want to exercise. All right, I got some tips for you. And uh, the big shout out to you is that you are wanting to figure out a way to do this. So I'll be right back with the answer. Stay with me. Hey, it's JJ and have I got a gift for you. 20% off your entire order at my store. That makes it a great opportunity to stock up on everything you want to get and stay healthy. Just go to jjgiftforme.com to get started. That's jjgiftforme.com. Okay, so whether you've got issues with iron, you've got Hashimoto's, you've got adrenal exhaustion, you may feel really tired and you just don't want to get up off the couch. And the thing is, you still want to exercise, but you want to do this. You want to build up over time, right? And so you start with what you can do and you build up to it. So easiest place to start is, and this is how I like to in my fast fitness program, one of the first things I say is just move more. This is where it's really important to have like a Fitbit um, or an Aura Ring, something that can track what you're doing. And remember, the great thing with exercise is it all counts. Um, And so just start with moving more. Maybe go out and do a 10-minute walk right? Start with just moving more. Next thing that I would add in is more restorative style yoga, especially with some breath work, something simple there, maybe some restorative yoga, some some easy mat Pilates. And again, one of the cool things you can do here is instead of doing longer exercise stretches, do a shorter one. So start with one exercise bout a day for 10 minutes, then add in another one a day for 10 minutes, and then add in a third one until you're doing three times a day. When my son was first in the hospital, and if you know my story, you know, about eight years ago, my son Grant was 16 years old and was um, hit by a car while crossing the street. And he ended up in the hospital for four and a half months. And um, when it first happened, I was in such a state of shock, as you can imagine, And I remember I needed to work out and I just was like wrecked, tired. And I just started with walking. I just started with walking. And then I started doing the hospital stairs. And then I started pushing him around when I could get him out in a, in a, um, wheelchair, but I just kept building on that. So that's what I want you to think of is really listen to your body. And also remember that you want to give yourself adequate recovery too. So do smaller bouts start easy, build up, and give yourself time to recover as well. This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week, so make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com.